Welcome to Hub City Sports. I'm your host, Christina Metz. And I'm your co-host, Haley Pritchard. As the saying goes, big things come in small packages. In our next story, high-flying micro-wrestlers put on a little show right here in Hattiesburg. For little people, they sure did put on a big show. It was, it was an experience I can never say I can regret. Midget wrestling hits the big stage as the Dollar Box showroom plays host to the Micro Wrestling Federation. The two-hour event consists of two singles matches and ends with the fatal four-way match for the MWF title. Created by Low Budget Rockstar Entertainment, the wrestling league consists of six members that travel coast to coast for wrestling shows. Although the show is similar to most mainstream wrestling events, many fans still get a unique experience from the acrobatic displays put on by the wrestlers. Actually, like, they come out just to see midgets, and then they, like, they see, like, we're actually, like, funny and athletic when we do, like, actual show. So it's like, they come out just to see midgets and they're actually like, turn by. I yeah, been, you know, being like a real entertaining experience. I've never been to like something like this before. I've been to like a regular WWE match, but I ended up having fun. The show aspect of the matches is just as important as the body slams and suplexes. Each wrestler doubles as an entertainer and engages the crowd throughout the match. They train hours each day to give the audience an appealing storyline to follow. I think the plot, the plot was really good. I wasn't expecting it to be like real developed like that, so it was, it was real fun. With viral clips spread throughout social networking platforms, the wrestlers feel the Micro Wrestling Federation will only get larger. For Hub City TV, I'm Tyron Jemison. Primetime Olympic coverage sets new record. Women received more primetime television coverage during the Winter Olympics for the first time in NBC history. Research shows male athletes typically receive 20% more coverage than female athletes. Although, during the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, female athletes received 43.2% of primetime coverage. Male athletes received about 4% less. This marks the third widest gender gap in any study of Olympic coverage. Scandal in the world of gymnastics may change the future of it. New allegations concerning a former Olympic gymnastics coach has surfaced. What does this mean for USA Gymnastics? And how are local gymnastic facilities prepping their athletes? Christina Randall has the scoop. After the trial of Larry Nassar, former USA Gymnastics sports doctor who was accused of molesting 265 girls and women, a new allegation has surfaced. Former students of John Geddert, former U.S. Olympic gymnastics coach, are accusing him of physical abuse and of knowing about the sexual abuse from the SAR. I could see his reasoning on not doing anything about it because he didn't want to cause like a whole fuss, but also um, if it affected more than one student, then maybe he should have done something about it. Coaches McKaylee Macuso and Christina Dalton, who coached competitive gymnastics at Planet Gymnastics, believe this is not something that would happen in Hattiesburg because of the close connections they have with the community. Especially now that the whole Larry Nassar thing has come out and we've seen that how that affects our, our program as a whole and our organization that we, that we work for. Coach Macuso says Getter had too much trust and confidence put into him and USA Gymnastics have a long road ahead to gain that trust and confidence back. For Hub City TV, I'm Christina Randall. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Coming up, you have a chance to check your trivia skills after the break.